walking out into the light. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. All right. Good day, South Carlton. I hope you can hear me on this, the final episode of the Good News News for 2021. You know, the idea for the show was born from a desire to unite various parts of the school community, including both staff and students, and to put a smile or at least a cringy smirk on your face while doing so. I hope you have gained some measure of joy uh, throughout the past six weeks. To wrap up our year, we're going to dedicate this episode to recognizing students in the everyday classroom. Previous episodes have focused on extracurricular activities, but a big part of our experience is navigating the day-to-day -day grind of this roller coaster academic year. High school is a dynamic place where lots of different things happen, but the one thing we all have in common is we all go to class. This one's about recognizing our ability to make it through. To set up this portion, here's a message from our principal, Mr. Arden. Hello, South. As I sit here in my office alone, without a student in sight, I reflect on the challenges you've faced. The loss of face-to-face -face time with teachers, coaches, and of course, your friends has been a challenge. Online learning has been a challenge. In-person four-hour lessons have been a challenge. And countless other things during this pandemic have been a challenge. I want to tell you though, that from where I sit, South Carlton staff and students have come through this in a way that can make you proud. In fact, this should be confidence building for each and every individual in the South Carlton community. I look forward to a return to in-person learning in a regular academic program. I look forward to clubs and activities. And personally, I look forward to coaching here at South again. As you finish strong academically through to the end of June and enter into an extremely well-earned summer vacation, realize that there is in fact a light in sight at the end of the tunnel. But realize as well just how well you've come through that tunnel. I understand that we have some great examples of just that in this, our last episode of the Good News News. To you and yours, I wish you all the best. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Mr. Arden. Very well said. Now, in an effort to take this to the next level, I asked teachers for input regarding students they'd like to recognize for their work during Quad 4. There was no one formula for nomination, only that these students deserved special recognition in the eyes of their teacher. I'm going to call this the Quad 4 Shout Out Honor Roll. Let's take a look at the nomination, shall we? Now, as I share my screen, uh, feel free to pause if there's something you want to take a look at. All right, we'll start with the grade nines. Elliot Arndt, Connor Berry, Caitlin Beach, Jordan Boyer, Riley Dunlop, Sarah Hamilton, Nathan Kozlov, Colton Lusk, Kaelin McKim, Mika Nealon, Catherine Robinson, Danielle Sheepers, Lincoln Smith. Moving on to grade tens. Grace Barkley, Ella Beaudry, Malin Bradford, Lauren Cardi, Matthew Dixon, Russell Leahy, Abby McGillis, Jillian Morris, Taylor Munch, twice, Layla Nardoni, Tegan Pilon, Rachel Reynolds, Sydney Sabarin, Bella Soro, the grade 11s were growing, Justine Bazerly, McKenna Burns, Ainsley Burnside, Lila Cameron, Matthew Carswell, Trinity Fiarchuk, Vanessa Fitch, Nate Francis, Kirk Goodwin, Charlie Holmes, Ruth Hughes Moore, Riker Lyons, Alexis Maxwell, Caitlin Nguyen, Matt Orr, Sarah Ovens, Amateur Raheem Salam Alada, and now the grade 12s in their graduating year, Amal Abed, Amy Bradbrook, Jane Butler, Ellie Dale, Alexandria Dewar, Ethan Dodsworth, Carter Edwards, Denevra Farrow, John Goodwin, 
Olivia Green, Erica Helby, Jacob Loach, Evan McFarland, Kobe McNamara, Sasha McQueen, Mitchell Robinson, Mia Russell, Emma Shimizu, Adam Taylor, and Ben Vanderbilt. Congratulations. And you know what? Congratulations to everyone. I mean, if you're watching this, it's been a difficult year and we almost made it through. Well done, everybody. Next up, it has come to my attention that some great things are happening in the world of co-op at South Carlton. With that in mind, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Xavier and Cassie. Maybe take a moment to introduce yourself to the people, folks. Hey, everybody. My name is Xavier France. I'm in the 12th grade at South Carlton. I'm currently doing two-credit co-op at uh, Willow Wellness Center, a good wellness uh, center out in the middle of Richmond. I'm working here with Cassie as well. And I'm Cassie. I'm currently in grade 11. I am also in the co-op program this year at South Carlton, and we are currently doing it at the Willow Wellness. All right. Well, welcome to you both. Uh, so like all of us, this year has been challenging. I can only imagine what it must have been like in co-op. So tell us about what you thought it was going to be like and what you did to get through it. Yeah, well, originally when we got into co-op, I kind of expected that since I went through the full first quarter of school, kind of going every day to school and just being in person all the time and having like close enough to a normal year that when I got to the co-op quarter, it would be the same. But after we hit that first lockdown, it was kind of like we had to figure out what was virtual and how many times we could actually attend co-op placement and what we could actually do in a time like that. So it was weird going from like once every two weeks to the co-op placement and just not being able to get too much done. But I mean, every time we went in, uh, me and Cassie went into the to the center, we, we, we had some good talks and we got actually a fair amount of work done. That's awesome. And you know, I think you should be commended for that. I've heard some really good things about what's happening there. And like, uh, like all of us, we had to get through some, some weird stuff. Uh, but I can only imagine the world of co-op, how, how that was compounded. All right, so Cassie, how about you tell us about what uh, interesting things have been going on there? So we started off with a small group, just me, Xavier, Chris, our supervisor, and Rob, who is just a friend of Chris's. And we started this tree of life type uh, therapy, which is a narrative therapy that started in Africa when a whole bunch of children were orphaned. Um, it was a way for the kids to connect together through stories instead of just a regular therapy practice, which is where you talk about your problems and how to solve them. So we started doing that, which was super amazing. And we wanted to um, do something for the youth, uh, especially during this time, because a lot of people are struggling not being able to connect with people. So what happened was when the second lockdown hit and we couldn't actually go into our placement and we were online, we had an idea to just do mental health Mondays with our co-op class. So we would take over and practice this narrative therapy with everybody and gave us all kind of a chance to connect through stories and help people if they ever needed anything to reach out. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, at this time and in this way, I think that's exactly what our world needs. So it's really cool to hear that you took that initiative. And I know that um, Ms. Clapp is very proud of uh, the work that you've done and you know what, to be honest, I think our school is very proud of you. I think um, under these challenging circumstances, you guys have made a really good difference. So congratulations for that. And thank you uh, for joining us on the Good News News. Um, yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Thank, thank you. you. All right, take care. Bye. Next on the show, we have a special message from the Phys Ed Department. Take it away, Ms. Williams. Hello, South Carlton. Those of you who are veterans of South Carlton will remember June is a very busy time, preparing for exams, finishing summatives, and celebrating the school year that was. One of South Carlton's great traditions is the annual athletic banquet. The calf would be decorated with school colors, sports trophies, and jerseys. And of course, the smell of Lone Star fajitas would walk through the halls as our student athletes filed into the school, dressed to impress, and ready to celebrate the wonderful year that was on the field of competition, on the court, the hill, maybe on the course, the pool, and on the ice. This year was certainly tough on our athletics family. Without sports to bring us together, we weren't able to celebrate the struggles, the triumphs, the lessons, 
and the joy that are all a part of competitive sport. All that being said, we, the South Carlton athletics community, haven't forgotten all the student athletes who have donned the SC maroon and gray. We would like to acknowledge and celebrate the graduating student athletes who had a large impact on our athletics program, even though it was cut short. We wanna thank you for your dedica dedication, your hard work and your leadership. This year, we have chosen to award athletic letters to graduating students who played a large role in the SC athletics family. For a little background before I announce the award winners, those um, students selected to receive athletics letters, uh, here's how the awards are determined. Athletic letters are presented to interscholastic athletes who have accumulated the necessary points and those points are awarded based on participation, so points for being on an interscholastic team, as well as additional points which are awarded by the athletes' coaches for things like sportsmanlike conduct, dedication and commitment to the team, and leadership. Those athletes who accumulate enough points through their athletics career to receive a letter demonstrate outstanding dedication to South Carlton Athletics and are truly representative of the spirit of true sport. Junior letters are awarded to athletes who accumulate 20 points, where honor or senior letters are given when a, stu a student accumulates 40 points, which is no easy feat. This year, without our point system to fall back on, a committee of coaches met to determine the graduating athletes who had received their letters. The committee looked at past participation, sportsmanlike conduct, and overall contribution to school athletics. The following graduating students have been awarded their junior letter. Congratulations to Zoe Takash, Teo Quint, Eva Zeitz, Nolan Edwards, Jenny Madden, Olivia Green, Cameron Thomas, Lauren Noble, and Bobby Allen. Well done. The senior or honor letter was earned by the following individuals. Alice O'Brien, Sarah Morris, Taryn Cordick, Caitlin Flanders, and Kiera Cardi. Congratulations. Uh, I would like to take just a quick moment to also acknowledge a graduating student athlete who received her senior letter in grade 10. Um, so congratulations also going out to Elle Spencer. We appreciate all of you for your dedication and we celebrate your participation in South Carlton athletics. Now to all of those of you who are graduating and who participated in school sports, we wanna thank you for your energy, your efforts and your role in SC athletics. Even though you were unable to compete in your final year, please know that you left us with a lasting impression and you will be missed. Best of luck with your future endeavors. We hope you find a way to continue your participation in sport. Thank you, and congratulations to our student athletes. Let's head over to Dylan for this week's announcements. Over to you, Dylan. Thank you, Mr. Pegu. Dylan Wright back again for one more time. First off, exciting news. Both amateur Raheem Salma Alida and Alexis Heitman won the Sitzville Youth Volunteer of the Year Award. What a tremendous achievement. Congrats to both of you. Remarkably, amateur Raheem wasn't done there, as she was selected from a very competitive field as one of the recipients of the RBC Spirit of the Capital Take a Stand Award. This is an incredible honor. Self is so proud of you. Well, that looks like it for the announcements. Have a great summer, Self Carlton. And thanks, Mr. Pettigrew, for having me on the show. You rock. Back over to you, Mr. Pettigrew. Thanks, Dylan. Now forgive me a little soliloquy here as we end the show. I'd like to point out that South Carlton hasn't been robbed of an experience because that would suggest that it didn't happen. No, we shared this experience and it was ours. Ultimately, we go through high school together and while it might not have unfolded in the manner that we anticipated, it still happened and each one of us can say that we were there. The pandemic didn't take away our ability to learn or to dance or to sing or to write or to tell dad jokes. We just had to come up with new ways to connect and show one another who we are and what we can do. To wish on something that never was is to invite pain and regret. 
The stories that we saw on this show over the past number of weeks demonstrate that that's not the way we choose to see things at South Carlton. There was goodness happening around us all the time. Well done, South. Be proud of yourselves and of one another. I'd like to take a moment now to thank all of those that contributed to the project. This show doesn't happen without the contributions of many. To Miss Williams for sparking the idea. To Mr. McIntyre for the countless hours of editing and answering my inane questions. To Miss Kelly for all of her support in distributing the finished product and of rolling with the many changes. To all the members of our wonderful student council for generating ideas and offering consistent feedback and support throughout the process. To all of the student volunteers who helped out with the show in some way, shape or form. None of this would have been possible without your support and time and effort. Thank you. Well, I suppose that about wraps it up. It's been a pleasure, everybody. Now let's go on out there, finish up our work and enjoy the summer. For our final photo challenge, let's stay in summer mode and submit pictures of South Goes On Vacation. Take a picture of your sandals by the door, show your stuffy by the pool, or your action figure putting school supplies in the trash can. Enjoy your summer south and keep on making good news. Everything's gonna be all right.